Welcome in to the Recap Rush Hour, our debut of this brand new feature here on my YouTube channel. I'm David Kaplan. We'll get you caught up on everything going on in sports today. So as you head home after a day at work, you know the latest in the sports world. Let's get right to it. Jed Hoyer held his end of season press conference today. He confirmed Wilson Contreras, the Cubs all-star catcher, will receive a qualifying offer. Sources tell me Wilson will definitely reject the qualifying offer. And sources also say the Cubs have zero interest in signing him to an extension, which I find highly disappointing. But that looks to be the end of the Wilson Contreras era here in Chicago. In addition, Jacob deGrom, Carlos Rodon, and Kudai Senga from Japan are the top of the market for free agent starting pitching. Jed Hoyer said we absolutely need to add to our starting rotation. But I do not believe the Cubs will be in plan deGrom or Rodon due to dollars and length of contract. I do think they will be in play on Kudai Senga. He finished 2022 with 148 innings pitched in Japan and an ERA of 1.89, but there will be heavy bidding for him. A year ago, in 111 innings pitched, a 2.67 ERA. He's 29 years of age, so we'll find out what the Cubs plan to do. The Cubs also said early stages, but extension talks have begun with several of their younger players. That has to include Nico Horner, Ian Happ, Justin Steele, perhaps Keegan Thompson, Chris Morrell, maybe even a guy like Brennan Davis who has yet to make his major league debut. Jed said, we want to compete for the playoffs next season. Okay, Jed, talk is cheap, my man. Let's see exactly what you're willing to spend and what you're willing to do. Bears coming off a disappointing 29-22 loss to the Minnesota Vikings in Minneapolis. Quick turnaround to get the Commanders Thursday night here in Chicago. This game opened at Commanders minus one. What? They've lost four straight and they're favored. The line has now shifted. A lot of money's coming on the Bears. Bears are laying one and a half points. It was a good day for Justin Fields. He showed clear improvement in the loss 29-22 to the Vikings. But folks, you can't start as slowly as the Bears did. First play of the game, you only have 10 men on the field. Really? You're down 21-3. They did come back to take the lead. And then a 17-play drive for Kirk Cousins and his offense. And Minnesota wins the game 29-22. Also, who was the lowest-graded Bears defender yesterday? And their defense has been a real problem. The lowest-graded, Robert freaking Quinn. Lowest-graded Bears defender. Awful, awful, awful. Bill Belichick won his 323rd career victory as a head coach yesterday in a shutout of the Detroit Lions. If the Patriots win in Cleveland on Sunday, he ties George Hallis for second place behind Don Shula all-time wins. And guess what? The following week, Bears at Patriots. If he wins this Sunday and wins that game, he beats the Bears to pass George Hallis. Wow, pretty good. Uh, several baseball sources believe the White Sox leaning to not re-signing Jose Abreu and will instead move Andrew Vaughn to his natural position of first base. Blackhawks open the regular season at Colorado on Wednesday night, nationally televised game. The great Eddie Olchek on the call for TNT. Thursday night they play in Vegas, and I fully expect Patrick Kane, Jonathan Taves will both be gone by midseason. Panthers fired their head coach, Matt Rule, today. Bronny James has just inked a big NIL deal with Nike. And finally, Monday Night Football tonight. Chiefs host the Vegas Raiders. I am playing the over 52. There's a little tip from Uncle Cappy. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Click that QR code right there. And get in on all of our giveaways. Have a great rest of your night. Recap Rush Hour, Monday through Friday. Take that.